What is up guys, Flossy Missiles here. In today's video, we're gonna finally drive this Honda. So I decided I need to test drive this thing before I start you know, ripping it all apart and seeing what's really going on. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw this bald tire <laughs> where this uh, blown out tire was. Look at that tread, it's so crazy how it just came off like that. Whole big piece. But yeah, I'm gonna throw that on the rear and then I'm gonna fill up the coolant and check all the fluids just really quick. Um, I got five gallons of 91 octane over there. Throw some gas in it and see if I can drive around the block. So at least I can kind of feel it out a little bit. Then we're gonna go over a list of everything I need to do to it, which I probably won't even get everything on that list because there's so many random little things that pop up always. But at least we'll have a plan of attack at that point. So let's get started. Actually sits pretty good on there I mean the tire is totally blown out on it but at least we'll be able to take it for a test drive now that that's off of it so let's let's see how this thing does I'm not expecting much but I put a bunch of new gas in there so hopefully as far as uh, the old gas hopefully it mixed in with the new gas and it'll run a little smoother it already wasn't running too too bad anyways but let's take it for a first drive okay can break down Clutch in, first gear. Oh yeah, no power steering, I forgot about that. All right, we're driving, we're going downhill. I didn't even check the rest of the lugs, I probably should have. That's cool wheat in here up here. Uh, yeah, I didn't check any of that stuff. <laughs> oh well, I'm not gonna go very far. Ooh, that feels bad. Feels like the front end's like gonna fall off. Oh shoot. Means an alignment. In a second. Oh, just getting out neutral. There's a second. Alright, I'm gonna put the camera down before I get pulled over. Okay, so road test is going kind of as expected. The front end is so janky, like you get like a bump and the whole thing like clunks and it feels like it's gonna fall off. I don't have second gear. I can put it in a second gear. If I hold it in a second gear, it'll stay. But um, like if I, I have to hold it pretty, you know, pretty tight, like death gripping this thing. But yeah, other than that, no second gear. There's first gear. And we'll go right to third. There's third gear. So that's gonna be my gearing right there for the race. I'm pretty sure just first and third. Here's me turning the steering wheel. It's like a knocking sound. So there's gotta be some blown out bushings or this thing needs a new rack or something. So I made a list of stuff I need to get done with this thing and uh, I'll go ahead and read it to you guys. Clean up the wiring, I have a bunch of loose wires underneath the dash and uh, a lot of exposed wires, there's not even like tape on them or anything like that. So clean up all that stuff, see what does what and what I can eliminate. Also have a bunch of stuff underneath the hood that needs to get fixed um, as far as wiring goes. So I'll go ahead and go through that. Make a battery tie down so that thing doesn't fall over or shake or rattle or flip upside down or weld itself to the side of the car. Um, mount the air filter. Air filter just sitting there nice and floppy. Uh, find out what's clunking in the front end. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna jack the front. See if it's like a steering rack bushing or something, something like that. 
um, try to adjust the trans so second works. I don't know if I'm going to adjust the clutch or the shifting linkage. Uh, I kind of doubt it that's going to work, but I figured I might as well try. Uh, inspect motor mounts. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. Change the oil. Even though this is a demo cross car and it could break the first time I'm out there get hit. Uh, you can get five quarts of, of uh, like 2050 at Walmart for I think 12 or 11 bucks. So might as well change the oil on it. Pretend I care about it. Flush the coolant. Install new tires. I haven't got new tires yet. And I don't know where I'm going to get them. I've been looking on offer up and I've been looking on Craigslist. I'm looking for uh, just some four lug 4x100 tires. Because these ones are just so dry rotted and shot. Like it would suck to get all the way out there and these, one of these things just blows apart for no reason. So look for tires. Oh yeah, strip the interior. So all this interior, you can see in here, this thing is full interior. It's all got to come out. No plastic or nothing in here. So I got to strip the full interior out of this thing. Um, eventually build a roll cage. That's like a maybe. I don't know if that's going to, we're going to have time for that. Remove all the glass. So all the glass has to go. This one's broken as you can see. Fat crack in the windshield. That one's missing already. But I saw those three in the back and then this one. So yeah, I got to remove all the glass. That doesn't sound like a lot of fun. I think you can unbolt those ones and you can unbolt these ones that are in the sides. But this one and the rear one I probably have to cut out. Which is going to be as difficult as I glue. It's I don't I don't like messing with glass, but yeah, cut out the the windshield and remove all the glass. Um, I want to build some kind of tubular bumpers, like some bash bars, basically for this thing. Mount the harnesses for my seat belts. I don't want to run these seat belts because they're like connected to the door, as you can see, and remove the door panels. So I don't know. I don't think that's going to work out. So yeah, I got to make some seat belt mounts, or hopefully they could just go on the the roll cage if I build a roll cage in time. Uh, strip the exterior so everything on the outside like all the plastic pieces and you can't have like headlights because they're glass on these ones they don't want that all over the track I'm guessing so I got to take all that stuff out I got to do some sort of hood pin keep the hood down I have to do a radiator guard I want to keep the radiator safe because if that gets hit and I start overheating that's the, that's the race for me weld the doors shut weld the hatch shut put some numbers on it have my friends hopefully come over and paint it be kind of rad just put some little designs on it make the windshield screen make a skid plate for the gas tank install a steering wheel because the steering wheel is so broken um yeah that's pretty much it so first thing we're going to do is uh stripping out the interior and removing the glass i'm going to go ahead and show you before we do it and then hopefully the after will look pretty awesome so here's before we got rear seats in there even really complete car about as stripped as it can get really other than little plastic clips like these guys and like these type of things which I have to remove later uh, it is fully stripped inside and out it's super light now too it also has some of this plastic stuff but it has that sticky stuff on it so I don't want to mess with it but yeah all the plastic clips are pretty much the only thing that's on it can't close it now it's got to be welded shut after this but I'm gonna go ahead and knock out the other door and we'll get working on the inside next I'm gonna pop out this glass a few years ago from Harbor Freight. It's to remove uh, windshields that are glued in or any kind of glass that's glued in. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and run around the edge of this thing and try to pull it out. I already got the wing off of it and the side moldings and the back pieces. But yeah, this is like a couple, two or three dollars. <laughs> All of the glass has been fairly easy to get out, except for this one shield been fighting me the whole way. And it still is fighting me. It's like a replacement one, and they like really, really, really glued it in. So I got all these little metal spatulas and a heat gun and doing that whole thing. But what seems to be working best is uh, this is like this is what I'm using is like uh, what is it called? It's like fishing line, but it's for like shark or for like big tuna. I usually use it for putting in windows for like uh, Volkswagens and stuff, but I'm using it to cut through this stuff, and it's doing an alright job. It gets hung up every once in a while, but it seems to be it seems to be cutting through somewhat okay. Here's the whole rear end all stripped out. It's kind of tight in there, honestly, but made it work. It's crazy, these knuckleheads before me, or whoever had this car in the past, I went ahead and took out these self tappers, but when I started unscrewing one of them, I hear like, and then I smell gas, and I'm like, oh my gosh, dude, these guys are running like amp ground cables straight into the gas tank. <laughs> and so, I just screwed it back in there, you know, the pressure from the gas tank or whatever. And uh, yeah, it was right there and it smelled like gas in here. I was like, these guys literally drilled a hole to ground their amps for their subwoofers or whatever, or their amps, or whatever, yeah, into the gas tank. So sketchy. <laughs> but yeah, it's all cleared out in here now. Uh, so you see the roof headliners taken out. I got a huge pile of stuff back there. Also over there. Also on that side too. Got to pull the front seats out now. And look like some change, a couple quarters. This car just got a little bit cheaper. But yeah, I got to pull the front seats out, pull the carpet out. And we're almost fully stripped. I hate how bad this came out. <laughs> Taking out this front windshield was such a pain. It was glued in so good. The rest of them came out nice. But this one, I hate dealing with broken glass, but I'm gonna have to vacuum all this stuff out. Not sure if I'm gonna use that stock seat. I might end up having to if it's uh, you know down to the wire and I can't mount my Kirky seat. So we'll see how it goes. now and I'm finished with the interior if you guys want to get a good look at it there's a few little random things like seat belts and I didn't get the whole dash out but as far as carpet all the plastics and headliner all that stuff is removed seats are out of it too um, that, that driver's seat may go back in or I may get a racing seat I'm not sure but that's all in a day's work uh, this, the doors got gutted these actually took a while to do Tomorrow I'm gonna work on the exterior more and get everything off the exterior. I got some of the tail lights off and a few things like that. But all the glass is out, so I'm stoked because that's kind of a annoying process, especially this windshield was such a pain to get out. That was not fun at all. But that's from wrapped up for today's video. If you liked today's video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more car content. Thank you so much for watching.